What's up, guys? How are you guys doing? What's up? You're doing stuff and things, bro. Stuff, stuff. and things. Stuff and things. I like that. Yeah. Talk to me. I've been watching Yo Rogan all day and laughing about the fact that it's Brad on the, on the stage. This guy. <laughs> Dude, I like Yo the little gentleman Rogan. gamings at the bottom of us now. When did we get those? Uh, that's why that's what was taking so long. I was updating the t four person template. I updated the three person template thinking there was just going to be the three usual cast crew members, but no sex Jimmy joined and that's awesome. <laughs> it's great. So wanted to, wanted to update it for him too. So dude, uh, we got stuff to talk about. We got some uh, non, uh, non Marine lists that won some, uh, some term, some tournaments. Harlequins won a tournament. We had Custodies our, won a, a big tournament. We had our first uh, stream which had a lot of issues, but a lot of awesomeness too. We are very purple on the one cam. <laughs> we did have the Brad, we need the, we did get a request for the Brad wine cam, which I think is an excellent idea. The wine cam. <laughs> it's, is that a cam just watching your bottle of wine? Just, we, we, it, we, we increased, yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe it's <laughs> it just the an, camera an, on an, the wine. An animation to see how much I've drank and how the bar, the bottle goes down. Yeah, no, we're, we, we should Alan, do that. I should take Alan a note. Yell at take me a on note. Sunday. He's like, I did buy you more wine because I hadn't drank any wine on Sunday. And he's like, uh, I specifically bought wine for you. And I'm like, I thought I drank all the wine. He's like, over there. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> My yeah. game increased so much. What up? What up, everybody? That was pretty funny. But yeah, we had a good time. <laughs> Played some good games. Brad, Brad took a train here. Made it in no it time awesome. at all. Um, you know, Daniel, you were supposed to take a train from Sweden. I, I didn't. I didn't yeah. see you. I didn't but, see you yeah, at the Elon station. Musk didn't finish the um, finish it. <laughs> the tunnel. Yeah, so, well, that's a problem. You have that's to send an official complaint to that guy. I'm I'm typing the email right right, <laughs> right now. now right now, a, a, it'll, it'll be typed. firmly written. Yeah. Firmly. I'm gonna complain immediately on the lack of this tunnel from Sweden to Chicago. We need to get this Stockholm to Chicago tunnel built immediately. <laughs> Um, if anything, I, I mean, Brad, something that has annoyed me the last uh, few casts is uh, our sponsor, Red Hot. They never see their product. <laughs> until they, they, until they until they pay us, Daniel. <laughs> until they pay us, Daniel, we're not showing shit. <laughs> I changed my bad. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm boycotting. I'm boycotting and showing my Red Hot, even though I put it on everything. Need, need it's on my contract. toothpaste now. <laughs> uh, I've, been meaning, I've been meaning to ask Jimmy a question. Jimmy, in, in, um, in all yeah. of Sweden... While you're there, who's the who's the worst person to play 40k against? Oh, now you're just must throwing shots. <laughs> must be Daniel. <laughs> must be Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> and why? Extrapolate. Give us a reason. Why Daniel is the worst 40k player? Because yeah. I or just general person. I whatever. am kind of meticulous with my movement, and Daniel. I have, I have, I feel like I have to correct him all the time, and I'm, it's, it's on me because I should play by intent, but I don't. Oh, I, have you not Even read the not a gentleman. Have you not read uh, the bottom of the Gentleman Gaming podcast? Yeah, here? You're think, on, the, you're the, on uh, the podcast. What is, uh, you're on it, Alan. What does it say on the bottom here? I think the first yeah. thing. I don't know. I can't read it. Play uh, by. Let me see. Intent. Play by Maximize intent. it. Maximize it. I don't know. <laughs> So, so, so what I, what I heard from Jimmy's explanation of the worst person to play in Sweden, I just heard uh, probably himself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so That's what I heard. So Jimmy I heard. is one of two people that actually have clocked me out. <laughs> in a playtest game. Are you saying in a playtest no, game? No, oh, in okay. a tournament. In a tournament. Okay, cool. The millions of people have clocked me out. That's fine. Um, but, uh, but that's pretty funny, actually. Jimmy's like the Alan, worst person. Alan did ask me if I wanted to use the clock. In our in our in our stream game, he's like, "You want to use a clock?" I was just like, "No." <laughs> I was like, "You ought to win that way," <laughs> and I get some expertise. But I'm getting better. I'm getting better at being more relaxed at the table. I think so. We, so we got to work you know, with you. We gotta uh, work haven't with you. always been. Got it. You have to just go to the Brad method. Drink more wine. Be more relaxed. There you go. <laughs> we had a, we had a pretty cool list here, Brad. We, Brad and I dropped in on a local tournament in the Chicagoland area at uh, one of our friends' backyards, Gary, and uh, we saw some cool props lists. to Gary, by the way. Yeah, nice. It nice was little a setup. It was a really nice setup. They had five tables outside and tents. Uh, it was really great. Uh, little get together. It was super sweet. Yeah, a lot of food. Everyone was having a good time for the most part. Saw a really cool uh, Admac list uh, from the Sansone, one of the Sansone brothers. Um, and, uh, I think he took first place, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yep. He yeah. well, he brought he uh, well, so poor Aaron. Uh, he 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 won. But then he didn't because one of them did not bring a fully painted army. Yeah, Talder's on his painted. But, 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 but Aaron, Aaron, Aaron's just there to get in games, man. He's a big game. He's a big like uh, reps guy. So he, he's he's just there to get in games. I understand that. You know how I feel about that. Any game is a good game. Yeah, exactly. For me. Exactly. Um, but he had so, but Daniel. Our practice uh, game. What did you guys play? I didn't watch it. Oh, but one sec, Daniel. I was going to tell you that that Edmec list that one had the horses in it, and uh, yeah. when I talked to him about it, he's like, "I got to add five more. I got to figure yeah. out a way." Yeah. Yeah, to max it. Uh, so they were uh, so clutch, you yeah. said. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm bringing fifteen, three three times five, basically in every army now. I love them. Yeah. So 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 what that means for those who are watching, it's like the Admech horse rider guys. Daniel's basically going, "Am I uh, Imperium? Oh, cool, I am. All right, minus this from two thousand because I'm auto taking these fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because they're the raiders. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then. At, at, by my house, Brad, uh, to answer your question, Daniel, Brad played against Gary Frank's Nids, uh, which you can walk through, Brad, and then uh, Brad played against me with Orcs. So go ahead, Brad. Why don't you walk through those games? He brought, uh, like, Max Ridge Runners, which were fairly annoying because I haven't seen him in a while, and I was like, oh, yeah, those rock lasers are uh, horrible. And then he brought literally Codex Zoanthrope and just started <laughs> moving Zoe's at me. Yeah, it was a wall. So, it was a wall of Zoanthropes. Yeah, he put a wall of Zoanthropes and a... Uh, a shit ton of, uh, and then he put a shit ton of Ridge Runners, um, kind of pushed up, and I eventually I fought back from that. It was a, it was a tough game. I brought my Sallies for both both games. Yeah. <clears throat> and then Alan brought uh, a pretty cool arc list, and it just made me, I, I still think, we were talking about it off air, I think that Orcs are horribly underrated. I think that things like Grotz are so hilariously good for turn one, blocking those middle objectives because you get so many people for cheap and you just don't give no shits what happens to them so you can run up you know contest the the, the objective right away and then you've just got so many shenanigan units i don't even know what the teleporty bug a thing buggy thing is that thing's so annoying that was awesome <clears throat> the entire game uh, it just harassed me i think it did yeah. like two wounds but it was just there blocking shit out the entire game no, the, tele uh, the just, teleport buggy is, is awesome amazing so much fun yeah yeah, but how many when you out to teleport with them, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You take the strategy. You take the um, upgrade uh, vehicle upgrade in the new uh, saga, and uh, yeah. you take um, the auto auto teleport. And then there's a strat for one CP where you can do it at the end of the shooting. After he shoots in the shooting phase, you can teleport him again automatically. Cool. So he can like pop out, shoot something, and then pop back into safety, and then pop out, shoot something, do the same thing. So I was doing that for like three turns consecutively. He didn't yeah. die. Yeah, he didn't die the whole game. That kind of goes to what the, the third pace list was down in the QBC, TUV, WXY. I don't even know what the, the list is. What? Uh, the, the, the Australian tournament. I wouldn't wow. even go with the, the Southern tournament. But they had a list of, uh, which was a thought. They What you guys want to think about this, we talked a little bit about it off here, but I want to say basically the guy took basically three units of Zoe's and maximum swarms, rivers, and maximum just spores, just putting them all over the board to just harass the movement. Yeah. Uh, especially if you go first, you can put those spores right in front of your opponent. Yeah, it's you like know, a wounds, wounds You basically auto-miss most of the time. Yeah, it's definitely so a wound, just, wounds per points maximization army list with, like, the resiliency and the zone throws just always having a save. So if you roll hot, it's just like you're going to live. And then you have a bunch of other things that are just optimized for points efficiency. So. It's a good, it's a good, definitely a good like idea. I think I, we're going to see more and more of that. I think we saw that early on too with Nurglings, right, Brad? When like a lot of people were talking about running a bunch of Nurglings and Nurgle armies and stuff. Right about the Exocrins in, in Gary's list. He had two of those also. He had lots of stuff. Oh, yeah, the Exocrins, yeah. Yeah. Look at Kurt's Kurt, 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 on here. He's like, hey, these are the things I saw at another event. And we're like, yeah, those are the same things we saw. <laughs> so it looks like the metas are yeah. more in line than you think, maybe. Yeah, but well, the thing is, is like, well, the down in, <clears throat> so in Aussie, they had NIDs, or well, the winner was Harlequins with a pair, fairly standard list where they had just, you know, a bunch of troops, a bunch of bikes, you know, the standard cast of characters. But then they had a demon list that was a little out there. Then they, they literally had that list I told you guys about the Rippers. And then down south in the YXP VIP Labor Day shenanigans, uh, you had uh, Custodes with the biggest forge world dickhead of all time with three caladius tanks and an Ares gunship and then second place was orcs and third place was a death guard chaos space marine where they had double possessed uh mortarian 
slapping down with uh, two plague bridge crawlers, and there was no marines in sight in the top tables there, in either one of them. What do you guys? Uh, what's your? What do you guys think about that? I hear crickets in the background, so maybe I'm just talking to myself about this stuff. I hear, I hear like a, I hear like a random noise in the background that I'm trying to figure out if I can fix on my end. I don't know. If it's like like, I just hear a cricket going. Fuck you, Brad. <laughs> well, the most interesting thing is that it's not the list itself. It's the, like no Marines in the top top three in any tournament. No, these tournaments. That's like the interesting thing. Well, I think that people are making some. My thought was because the first couple of lists I saw in America were lists that didn't feel like they were trying to take the board. They looked like they were lists that were just trying to kill. It was just yeah. all these aggressors and just stuff, and you just nothing was there to take these objectives. And I think that people realize that you got to take a little bit of each. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or you better you better be able to deal with it. So I don't know. Me and Jimmy are on Discord every day crying about Space Marines. So. Yeah, <laughs> it feels like such a stupid codex. It's like, yeah, I can no take drawbacks, so. It's all the best. No drawbacks. Yeah, yeah. We I, we said that here too. We I only dicks play salamanders. I, I think that you're gonna see. Uh, yeah, I mean, I play salamanders, so of course. <laughs> I mean, but let's let's it's be broken. honest. I, I play whatever I think the front runner is. I'm willing to drop tr drop ship immediately. Brad, I think <laughs> this army over here is better. Army, I throw my army box and just go over. <laughs> 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 what's the best it's what brad's playing i got a reversible cap that i just keep sliding around to see yeah i play me playing against brad um on, su on su sunday with his salamanders i i couldn't believe how strong they were it was like they're way stronger too like when you actually start playing with them they just i had no chance of winning the game i was just evaluating kind of like what i could do differently in future games but it was just I have to revamp my whole list to even have a chance. And even then, I don't know what... I'm not sure exactly what the approach is with Orcs yet. It's going to take some reps um, getting used to them. I know, I know Brad's had a lot of reps with it, but he played it really well. And the army on its own is just very forgiving. And, like, there's certain things that are just a no-brainer. Like, you know, put these guys in the objective, yeah. and, like, you can't get within 12 now. So it's, like, it makes reserves really hard to get anything near them. And then, and, and then nothing's going to survive a turn to attack them the turn after because he has reserves, too, that can come out and counter you. So it's just... It's really tough. Yeah, it was a really tough game. Yeah. The thing, I think... Uh, Go ahead. I mean, just that everything has toughness five and three wounds and, like, two up save because of cover and shit. It's just... It's Pop just stress. silly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Space Marines are so broken that none of the top Polish players are willing to play them, by the way. I have no, no idea what they're playing, <laughs> but they won't play Marines. No, but, well, uh, I don't want to play Marines either. Uh, I refuse I, to look at the Space <laughs> Marine code. It's funny. I got a whole actually, Primaris army right here in my glass glass shell. I won't touch them. I, I will. I will bad touch every one of you guys with my marines. I'm a dirty, <laughs> dirty player. I actually think that orcs are probably going to go to, and this is just an opinion. I haven't played enough reps with orcs yet to even say what. But the feel of it, I I feel that like a ridiculously MSU orc army might work super, super well because there's no real punishment for getting more shit killed anymore, unless somebody's taking. Uh, mm. grind them down but okay so you know one secondary but i feel that they've got so much random stuff that you can take ones of yeah. so many opsec units and yeah. shit like that that's what i'm going to transition to spam the board with just shit basically yeah. yeah our next game brad that's what i'm going to transition to to play against you with on stream next time you come by um and see how that one goes i'm just going to try to tweak mine because i don't think your i don't think your list will tweak too much you just probably switch more to flamers when the flamer rule comes legit um, yeah. But overall, I think your list will relatively be similar, whereas mine will change dramatically because um, I'll take out all the things that seemed inefficient against um, against Space Marines and try some new stuff. So I'm excited for that, actually. I'm, I'm going to be working on that army along with the Salamanders army. Uh, Daniel, you're going to love my captain on a bike, by the way. He's awesome. He's so badass. He I, is. I, no, like, dude, super, I made a sick I, model. I, I, looked at, I looked at Alan. I go, there's a 100% chance that I'm stealing this. He's like, <laughs> he, he's like, you can steal everything else. You can't steal this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I took, a, I took like, a, like the, the Forge World Vulcan model. I cut off his torso. I cut off both of his legs. And then I made him fit on a bike, like a big jet bike. And then I cut the front of the jet bike off and I put like a giant dragon head from Lizardman on the front end of it. And I'm green stuffed the whole thing all together. So it looks like he's basically riding a dragon bike um, and it's the actual Vulcan model. Fucking badass. Also, tell him about the other one you did, though. The that's assault. My, that's my he, favorite. He one. took, oh, yeah, he the, took assault, the assault intercessors, the intercessors and put the Vulcan cape on all of them. Yeah, all my assault intercessors have a Vulcan cape. And then my yeah. uh, commanders have a Vulcan shield. 
they have uh, like a big salamander shield on them. So they look cool too. Yeah. Excited. I'll do that for the Vanguard vets too, Brad. When once we start looking at those Vanguard vets in the future, with the plus and one the, wound, and, and, uh, the, bl- and the blade guard have that shield. So yeah, yeah, that's, yeah I'm gonna, it, I'm, gonna I, that I just, I'm super excited about the way they look. I like the way they play. I, I think that you're gonna see more of this though. I think that you're actually gonna see people, uh, especially right before attacking pretty hard against Marines in general, uh, and I think that's gonna lead to lots of weird stuff happening. I mean that I don't know how that custodes list played the mission he has so few models and units man i just don't know like literally guy? three tanks uh, a Ares gunship and what four total units he's just holding two, getting the secondaries and like yeah. just nailing people off the the extra right he's just ensuring that you don't ever get more than him on primary holding two really stably and probably getting some of the the board ones plus banners plus I think he could probably be doing. He just has so kill. many like things he's not interacting with. He had four in- units of infantry. You know, what I mean, I don't, I don't. I mean, it, it could be amazing. I haven't played against that specifically in, in you know, in ninth. Uh, but it just felt like there were so few things on the board. Yeah, but he doesn't give up any secondaries at all, except like the weak vehicle one, and that's a trap. Yeah, that's a huge trap. <laughs> you, you, well, you only get twelve from it anyways. He only had four yeah. things. <clears throat> yeah, I picked bad secondaries too. Like I picked um in my game against Brad, I picked um. The banner one and um th- my list just couldn't do banners real well it was really tough um mm-hmm. so i, I got to figure out how to change how to tweak that but but i think when you make your list you're going to probably play a couple games where you don't know exactly what secondaries it's really good for um until you play yeah. it because when i started playing and um i realized how much my list needs to run to just a- acquire mm-hmm. territory on the board i'm like i can't raise any banners i have to run these guys like all the time um, or charge or shoot. Like, I didn't have units that I just didn't... Like, even my grots need to run because I need to create a buffer zone. So, like, turn one, I have to run. I can't grab um, banners. But the grots the grots felt like MVPs at first, though, man, because going up, you could just literally contest every objective, and it felt so annoying to have to kill grots, like, on turn two or turn one, you know, whenever. You were killing grots like, the whole game. I had grots all the way until turn four. Yeah, yeah. it was so annoying. I'm yeah. just like, he's like, all right, I can test five more points of objectives here with these yeah. ten idiots that cost... Three, <laughs> like just. Eh. I think they're. But what's the, what's the, I think what's the like the min max unit size of those uh, jump infantry orc boys thingy? Five. Storm storm boys. Yeah, five storm boys. Five. Okay. Uh, they might. They're be okay. Like they're okay at, as death skull because then they can't become obsec. So yeah, then you as death skull. As death skull, they're good. Yeah, as death skulls, they're good. I think they're also good as speed freaks because they get plus two to movement and plus one to charge and plus one to run. So I think speed yeah. fix you can make a you can make a claim for him there as well. Yeah, but they can plant your flags with a, with a twelve inch move. That's not a problem at all. True, you could take those in just for banners yeah. if you wanted to. Um, I'm probably What's not. What's their cost I'm though? Well, they went up a bit to. in cost though. Yeah, I'm probably not going yeah. to. There are too many points for that. Um, yeah. I could just I could just not take banners and just take other secondaries. There's other yeah. secondaries I think I could. True. Do I mean, easier. you could take banners are in the same category as scramblers, and scramblers are just automatic. So. Yeah, scram- it's just I take I take banners a lot just because I end up scoring more than ten in most games. Uh, yeah, but I, I do I take scramblers think, a bit I, if I think someone's going to be really aggressive on me and be able to take my flags from me. Like yeah, I, I usually I don't take say. flags a lot if I take white scars. I was just going like to say or something. that's what I was just going to say, Brad. If if someone takes banners against me with 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 my orcs, I can stop it really easy because I can just yeah. take your objectives yeah, from you take you them back, by running right? and going sure. on top. I just oh it's mine now. Boom, banners gone. So I think that's that's a big one. Um, so I, I, I think that's a big win for, for the orc list. But yeah, Jimmy, I'll, I'll look into it. I just think you have to, like I said, I think once you design a list, you got to tweak it a little bit to figure out what secondaries work better for you. Because that was the I real like big the buggies problem. and the copters, man. I, I thought those those were like crazy too. And I, I think the commandos are actually fantastic for taking uh, secondaries like engage on all fronts yeah. and uh, scramblers. Yeah, the commando units they cool. show up. Yeah, I just missed that charge with them. That sucked, but what are you going to do? Happens mm-hmm. sometimes. Even with the plus one in the reroll, it's some still still happens sometimes. Orcs can reroll uh, either dice still, which is nice. I know now with the reroll strat, you have to reroll both dice for the charge. You can't reroll one because it's a single roll. But here we go allows you, uh, you to reroll one or both. So that's pretty cool. I love that. Um, and with mm-hmm. evil suns, it's even better because eight inch charges with with picking up with the ability to pick up one dice is just so good. Um, because even if you get like a four on one of them, you, you're at a fifty percent to get like you know the four on the the the, the, the reroll. So, no, oh, you guys have a tournament coming up next week or in two weeks. 
two weeks. In two weeks. Now, now you guys have already played the last tournament. You've had a decent amount of games between the two of you. What are you guys leaning towards for the next tournament? Where, where are you guys sitting at? I know you've been bouncing I'm around a little bit. I'm probably bringing Blood Angels with the uh, 250 points of uh, ride, Raiders. Raiders. <laughs> horses. Add, mech, add mech horses plus Blood Angels. So it's going to yeah. be screen you off and then punch you in the face with Death Company if I go first. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or I'll stick with the Grey Knights, take out my two um, Dreadnoughts and put in 10 Terminators. Uh, because... Then I can play while we stand, we fight easy because then I only have three characters that mm. I have to, you know, keep alive. Uh, and also, 10 Terminators with 10 warding staves and bolters that are super offensive. And then the Paladins that can shoot in direct and take sort of be the anchor and take, take the middle board. Middle and just shoot everywhere yeah. with Astrolame. Yeah. I yeah. can see that. What about are you, Jimmy? Are what are you thinking? What, uh, just a real quick question for Daniel on the Grey Knights. How are Dread Knights now? Are they any good? You ever think about taking a Dread Knight or no? Not good Grand enough. Master? I, I think they're too expensive. Like, I, in end of 8th, I was looking at running, you know, like naked Dread Knights with only a sword because they were like 120 points or something. They were good point value. Now I feel they're a bit too expensive, so I, I don't think I'm going to bring them. Okay. Go ahead, Jimmy. What are you bringing? Yeah. So right now I'm thinking of bringing a triple patrol with the Nurgle Demons in one patrol, hmm. Death Guard in one patrol detachment, and Chaos Space Marines in another one. That's what, what I'm thinking of. Walk through. Walk through. Bringing like yeah, Nurglings, and, yeah. Nurglings and Beasts of Nurgle uh -huh. in the Nurgle one. I like Beasts. Bringing Spawns and Plague Marines in the Death Guard one. I'm bringing Chaos Terminators with Plasma in the Chaos Space Marine one. So you're kind of just going for the Termies to try to pick things up and then just hold? I think he's playing strats, too. Sounds like it. You're taking some yeah. Nash Terminators to shoot twice? Yeah. Yeah, I think it might be good. I really like the strat, the, the Relic Gun for Alpha Legion and the, be able to shoot characters as well. Yeah. I really like that gun, like Strength 5, AP3, 2 damage. Four shots from a Terminator Lord. There's a there's a, there's a four kill characters. I, I really like that gun. Okay. Yeah, I oh, can see that. Good. That sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. So so like with that list though, how much CP do you start off with with all the det detachments? You start with five. Okay. Ouch. It's low. Fucking ouch. Yeah. But all all, oh. all all the CP goes into the Chaos Space Marine detachment yeah. in one sense. Terminators. Right? So yeah. Five CP for the Alpha Legion detachment. Right now, I think that's enough. I think the beasts are going to be be pretty cool. Do they still charge people in the opponent's charge phase? Yeah, yeah, that's that's or can hero can can be six. No, oh, three wow. inches. Oh, it's three, no, only three. I love Neil's like beast plus spawns. Jimmy's not going to be making any friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like a hard but, to move, hard like, to move unit where he can pick something that dies with the terminators. Yeah, not bad. But I I, I, uh, I played a game yesterday, and I had the Obliterators instead of Beast of Nurgle, and I just couldn't get the Lord to focus like so they could reroll re -roll one for the Terminators and for the Obliterators. So I just scrapped the Obliterators and put in the Beast of Nurgle instead to just shut down the thing I want to kill. Iron Warriors Obliterators are pretty disgusting still right now with all the rerolls for them. Yeah. For rerolling damage and everything else for it. They feel yeah. pretty good. Obviously, firing twice. You know what I mean, Muslim Nash. Mm. Jimmy, I, yeah, think, very, I think you need yeah, a lot I like of to be able to like scout up the the terminators as well. They like to scout nine inches, walk again, and <laughs> maybe warp time, and then just be in rapid fire of everything I want to kill. Well, it's a good, it's definitely shots. it's definitely a good list to start constructing because it's going to get better with the new rules. Yeah. So for sure. Yeah. Now, what do you guys, uh, we, we really we were going to touch on a little bit. What do you guys, what's your biggest front? Like, what are you looking forward to in the things that have been actually really released? Where GW is saying the two wound cult guys, the 12 inch flamers, the new multi meltas, the new heavy bolters, uh, two wound marines, because I know you guys are big on marines right now. You're super big players <laughs> of that. Or three wound terminators, which I actually think is a huge deal. What would you say is the, the thing that you're looking forward to the most? 
Uh, I mean, we got less than a month, basically, hopefully, for all that shit to go live. I, I think I speak for both me and Jimmy when I say I hope most that space marines become less powerful with the new codex. Oh, uh, less powerful with the new codex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, bobblehead Jacob says, no, hold on. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what, Daniel, what are you going to do, though, if, uh, you know, you're saying Space Marines are too powerful, you don't even want to play them. What happens if Necrons come out and they're even more powerful than Marines? Are you not playing Necrons? Is Daniel, this, this connected. Is Daniel gone? But, yeah, <laughs> but I, think, I, think, I think I can say that if Necrons gets powerful, I think it's okay. It was okay with the and everything, because people <laughs> don't play Necrons. Everyone can just scrap together 30 marines and it's okay but necrons is kind of this niche army in some sense and i can well, i can handle necrons yeah, being I, good. I don't know not with the indominus box where everyone fucking yeah, gave everyone, their half a necron box necrons. to somebody else yeah. <laughs> i don't know there's, there's a pile of necrons there's like five people out there that are just like ah 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 with <laughs> 700 indominus boxes worth of necrons yeah. in their basement <laughs> Yeah, Daniel. But Necro, yeah, Necro I, doesn't, I, doesn't have the, the the unit selection for Space Marine is not equivalent equivalent in in Necrons. Why so, not? So. Why not? You're gonna have destroyers. You're gonna have scouts. You're gonna have snipers. Yeah. They have everything. They have scarabs. They have all the yeah. they have all the units that, that like, I actually Marines think they're gonna the be super. Part. I think they're gonna have more specifically against Marines also though because yeah. they have lower. They don't have like a super volume, but they have like so many good weapons that they've already talked about that have huge AP and huge damage that you can start picking up lots and lots of marine bodies, even the three wound marine bodies, even with them going, you know, with three wound guys, the Terminators, the Eradicators, the whoever's, you know what I mean? All of the T5 guys. Yeah. Uh, if you're doing three damage a shot with a huge AP, you're still, you know, that's a great counter. And I think Krons will be... Uh, I hope, you know, I think they will be because I think that adds like a, a huge portion of the meta is having that this, you know, this is good against this. And, you know, so you uh, really can't tech against any one thing right now. That's what I think. You know what I mean? Where you just if you tech too much into a hard target, hordes are out there. We just saw, you know, a bunch of hordes at a tournament, but you still need enough hard target to take out somebody that brought Kalatus tanks and Kalatus tanks and an Ares gunship. You know what I mean? So you got to you don't know what to, to bring. And I like that. I like to have your. Your list be real versatile and overall, you know yep. what I mean? Yep. I think that people trying to tech against just Marines or just Hordes are going to are gonna have a hard time, especially in the big tournaments where you got to play five games or more. The, the problem we'll have if Necrons and Space Marines are better than they are now, or not Necrons because they have to be better than they are now because they're boring and suck, but Space Marines being better than they are now is it will make all the other codexes so worthless that there would be like no point to go to a tournament with anything else you know sounds like great nights uh, in fifth edition so <laughs> i really really hoped they would bring space marine down a notch and then lift necrons up to the level where space marines would be if they go down a notch because then all the codexes would be more balanced as they are now so if they increase the power level of space marines then I think we'll have a few months of really boring tournaments ahead of us. But what happens yeah. if they raise everybody up to the Space Marine level uh, and they yeah. just dump codexes on us? Because I actually think that if Space Marines what have... What are the odds what of that? Every option, no, but Space Marines right now have so many options. I think it's super fun making lists with Space Marines. And I think that I would rather see them go... Everybody else go up there as opposed to <laughs> them go down. Super it's fun so fun to just space add... Space. Outriders and Eridicators. You're kidding me. Uh, so bad. I love it. Yeah. yeah. There's no hard choices. You just pick the best. <laughs> yes, stuff. there is. I have, Every I have, is the best. Literally, yeah. I have to choose between my to fit the, my 2,000 points. I have to fit. I have to choose between my test 10 best units in the game and make them fit into a 2,000 point list. <laughs> That's why it's so fun. And oh, such a hard choice. Oh. Yeah. He he has so many good <laughs> options. It's so fun. That's what he's trying yeah. to say. I did. No, uh, but I, he's course, like, I uh, wish games they... were bigger. I wish there was more points so I could play more abusive yeah, stuff. Exactly. <laughs> of course, Brad. If they pick everyone else up to the same level, it's going to be great. Yeah, but, but that's not what's like, the time frame. What, what are we looking? You know, zero percent what, chance. What are you willing to? Anytime if, soon. if everybody, what's the? If everybody got li lifted to that level, like say we're going to get Necrons and, and Marines at the exact same time, supposedly. 
Yeah. If we get those two codexes, and those are both equal power. So crowns and space marines are equal. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then everybody's going to be equal. What what would you be willing to spend in the dark ages of crowns and space marinesville months wise? You know what I mean? Because they're only going to do them every X amount of months. What would you think would be a time yeah. frame that that's good for? So every day they're overpowered. It's going to suck on tournaments. So I, I don't know, man. It, it's... I think it's the wrong way to go about it. About it, they should have taken those down so there was a a good power level among yeah. the codexes that are out now. Yeah, yeah no, no that game, no, no, no game is perfect, obviously. But there's this other game. I don't. It's like um, a AOS, I think. I don't know. I can't remember what it's called. But um, they release a general's handbook that updates <laughs> everyone at the same time. Like, I don't know what yeah. company makes that game, but like, that's a great idea. Like, just universal updates across the board, trying to make things as balanced as possible. Now, do they always hit the mark? No. There are imbalances. But, uh, but, I, but if, we get an, if we get a Space Marine Codex that's better than Space Marines are now in October, I'm 100% yeah. on Daniel's side here. That's insane. Yeah. Because that's basically, like, that's basically like Space Marines become Michael Jordan. Everyone else is playing in high school, full of, like, basketball, trying to get recruited, yeah. you know, to the to The, the problem is everyone has a Michael Jordan at home. Yeah. So, bad. so it's gonna be like seventy percent Michael Jordans on the tournament. It's yeah. gonna suck. That would it's be gonna be super sick, boring. Sick NBA. <laughs> I would watch all those I, games. You know what? what you, I actually like this. I, I want to. I, I I told Alan I wouldn't do this till the end, but I want to go on this change. This quote change here. the entire this comment, uh, flow. Of no, the, no, no, no. The, 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 the I just want to say that it goes to what we're saying right now, though. I'm just kidding. What bro. do you guys? What do you guys think that? It was a good of the comment. He goes, what happens if they released all the codexes, like just slam them out and then just put FAQs throughout the year? What kind of like already what, what you were saying with that general handbook. What happens if I go to the gas station, buy a lottery ticket and win $500 million? I mean, awesome. <laughs> I mean, I, mean I, I think you would, it's uh, awesome. For some medical I think, for it, me and I think it's awesome, <laughs> bro. You get 10 million the day after. I think it'd be amazing. I think it'd be amazing. I mean, I don't know why we're asking silly questions. I mean, what happens if a plane flies by my house, engine accidentally falls off, and it lands in my living room? I don't know. I mean, that I would mean suck. you probably have to buy a new TV at least. <laughs> at a minimum. At a minimum, right? Um, I, I mean, good, good question. Yeah. No. Look at me. I'm that would be good. I mean, I'm, let's oh, be no, wait, maybe not. Let's be honest, guys. I mean, we just had two tournaments where no Marines were in the top three, so maybe they're underpowered, and they definitely need a boost in a codex, guys. Hello. Yeah. Well, there were bad Marine players in those tournaments, though. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just but that that Marine list you played, Brad, on Sunday was just very efficient at the missions yes. and just really, really. Good. I mean, also holy... three three wound Marines are horrible, like yeah. horrible, like. Man, yeah. they're so hard to kill. T5, three wounds. It's just gross. It's like, oh, the unit's only three guys, but those three guys' output is insanity, so they're super efficient. And then in addition to that, they're T5 and three wounds. And you're like, yeah. well, that's not good. <laughs> no, and, then, and then Salamander Strat's like, oh, you know, we get a plus one save if your uh, rend is only one or whatever. That was also gross. Damage is only one. And then they ignore rend <laughs> one. Oh, my God, it's just so bad. Cross you know what would be crazy, though? If they had an app and they could just change the rules right now, real time. Yeah. That'd be crazy. <laughs> oh. I don't know, man. Uh, it's rough. Uh, it's rough. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> but fantasy football-wise, Brad, on the first round for Tony Malave's team, picked Josh Jacobs and Joe Mixon, if anyone was curious. He was the, <laughs> the end of the first round, and that was his pick. Mic uh, drop. The, commu the, commu <laughs> the, the community can let us know what they think of that. Jimmy's like, I have no idea what fantasy football even is. I actually yeah. watch. I actually watch American football. Do you really? So. Like, like Jimmy yeah. does. I just want to say that it's the other. It's when you get Robert that calls it American handball. Robert does not. Know anything. <laughs> Robert, Robert does zero about. Hey, I have my shorts on. Look at this. Oh. If he gives us a dick pic, I'm gonna be really bummed about it. <laughs> I like how he vanished. He's like, I have my lot of my Raiders shorts on and he vanished. He's gone. <laughs> Disappears. Um, what type of, oh, we got a qu question, Brad. Why don't we do questions now? There's a question from I, Chris. What type of point increases are people hearing from Marines? I heard 30%. It turns out Marines and Custodes are very low model count. Uh, I have absolutely no idea. I, I literally don't. I can't even spoil that with an NDA because I don't see final points. I, I would be I would be somewhat surprised if the points 
didn't go up. Oh, really? Like it's like that they're hiring two software engineers and a mobile engineer to try to produce a better app. Um, yes, I, I don't understand That's why cool. you don't have immediate. Uh, basically, like they do with the the codexes, when you get a live codex, uh, the digital codex, uh, it changes whatever to the current rules. Like, why isn't that on the app currently? You know what I mean? I don't like. Why are my facts not right there? It's electronic. You could literally just change the the base code on it. Yeah, we, and it just changes it. We've hammered this one out quite a bit. So I know it's just it, it's one of those things where I'm ve- I'm still very excited for the app. I mean, I do like to have it there because I can just see things and it's easy, but. You should just have the the most current rules of everything. You know what I mean? Should be right there uh, when you pull it up. You shouldn't have to go look anywhere else. Yep. Well, I Period. hope they, I hope they find the most people. current rules. All the eratas is in there. Yeah, everything is in there. Yeah. All the current rules. It, with, with the the different verbiage on the units themselves, because they did not have that for a while. Like two yeah. weeks ago, they did not have the updated uh, things for units. No. So all the errata stuff is in there. The errata. Got it. They, just change, they change the wording or something. They change it in the app. Like <coughs> warp search. Like warp search has the added that it's only like four plus plus. That's maximum. Instead of three plus plus as in the codex. For example. That's, that's why you always gotta have the So do you have to go to the errata for that or does it actually just update it where the rule was originally? No, it's updated where the rule That's what is. I thought. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um Daniel, I had a question okay. for you about terrain. Same thing, Jimmy. When you guys are playing with terrain over by you guys, we had some questions by us, and uh, we, we were playing with GW. St- Brad, stop moving random crap. Um, it's, it's random also, crap. your microphone is most likely on your webcam and not your actual uh, real mic, by the way. Um, the terrain we were using, Daniel, uh, had no bases on it at all. And the way we were playing yeah. it, uh, we were playing the game as if you're not touching the physical like wall... And you're not on like the physical like like ledge or the like the level like first floor second floor. If you're not like touching the physical structure, then you can't be seen basically through the ruin. Uh, but if you're touching it or if you're on a lever, then you could see through it and you could be seen through it. Um, we had some people who were over on Sunday who thought that there should be a footprint, there should be some more area. It shouldn't just be um, that way. What are you guys? How are you guys playing terrain? And what are your thoughts on on that? Well, to start off with, uh, if you don't have a base. Uh, I would say it's a ruin wall, which has different rules. Okay, well, so what, what are the ruin wall rules then? Is it block line of sight or not? Yeah, for example, they're not obscuring. Okay, so they're not obscuring. But GW ruins, the ones they sell, do not have a base. No. So that's ruined walls. If you if that's ruined walls, if you I, look I'm, at the no, I'm saying if you go look so, in the GW so what, book what, right now, look in your tournament yeah. handbook, the ruins do yeah. not have bases. Yeah, so th- yeah. we all agree. I, I actually He's think they mentioned wall. that as well in the rule book and say that uh, you you can have like an imaginary footprint on area to pieces, but. What's Jimmy? I, I don't what's know. Jimmy showing? Jimmy's got like an actual rule book out. He's drawing. He's drawing a loser <laughs> symbol for himself, and then he's connecting <laughs> it with his fingers. I don't know what he's got going on. Jimmy, what, Jimmy, talk. talk You're just playing like if, if this is the ruin. It's like it's an imaginary line here. It's an imaginary base. So, two, so what's what's so what's the, the so what's the so okay? So let me, let's walk through it then. So if you go within that base, then Jimmy, can you then be shot through the wall? If there's windows in the wall. If yeah. there's windows, right? Okay. But if yeah. there's no windows, then you can't be shot through. So it's line of sight. Uh-huh. But if you're not on the base, regardless of windows or not windows, you can't be shot. Uh, if if they have to draw the line over the base and they can't, over the base of the ruin, and they can't draw it to your model without drawing over the base. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then how, so how many pieces of terrain do you think is appropriate for a board with, uh, with the base that block line of sight completely? regardless of windows or not windows. How many pieces of terrain would you put on a board with that? I don't know. Four? Seven? Six? Yeah, something. I mean, I I think GW says something around 13 to 15 pieces on a board. Uh, But obviously, all of those shouldn't be obscuring ruins. Uh, You have to (laughs) mix in other stuff. You know, you needed some forests, some pipes, some... Hills and other other area features. Containers, features. Imperial statues. Yeah. <laughs> so what's like the uh, so what's the difference between a ruin wall so then? Bad. Other than other than obscuring, what are the other different the other differences between a ruin wall and um, the the one with an area base? Ruin wall is dense cover for minus one to hit, and ru- ruins is 
plus one save like cover. Got it. And, and it's I also the rules in front of me, but I also think you have longer engagement. Longer engagement. Yep. Two inch. Rune yeah. walls have the longer engagement on it. Yep. I like I like rune walls a lot because I think yeah. that most, like Daniel was saying, most terrain that everybody was just choosing as ruins is actually probably a ruined wall. But I actually like ruined walls a lot because it's still true line of sight. It yeah. still gives you blocking, you know what I mean? And it also is minus one to hit. So you can do a lot of stuff, but it also makes for longer engagements. So you have to be more tactical with where you're hiding. So you can't be yeah. just one inch away because it goes farther in, you know. Yeah. But Ruin Vaults uh, is easy I, I, to identify. Ruin Vaults has no levels. Ruins has levels. Yeah. Correct. Uh, so you can easily spot the Ruin Wall. That's a Ruin Wall, because that I can't walk up in that, because there's unstable positions. Yeah, I mean, I think everybody is. Corey's going to well, get not, one of this. He's not just when you have a ruin. Every, every area is playing the, the terrain slightly different because of the fact that we have different types of terrain and different basically interpretations of how basically the ruins work and stuff like that. You know, what, what you're playing as if you have a base on it. Because the base, basically GW just doesn't make ones with bases, so they don't yeah. write rules for that. So you have to ask what, you know, what you're going to do with your different types of terrain that you've ever made, you purchased from other people, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is clearly, clearly a ruin. It has a level, right? Yeah. Uh, and it, but it has no base. Right, so there's no base on it, but it has a it has a level. So I have to probably put a base on it in order to make it a ruin. Yeah, or have the imaginary line between the two edges of it. Yeah, yeah. But then the problem I see with it is like you can't really benefit from if it's a ruin wall, then you could be right next to the wall, and and you basically will not get any cover unless the wall is physically blocking. And if it's if it's if it's a ruin, you have to be outside of the footprint whatever the imaginary footprint is in order to benefit from obscure. <coughs> so it pushes you a little depends, bit farther depends back. On, I don't have the rule book in front of me, so I don't know it exactly. But if it is, for example, I think it's obstacle, then you get cover behind it if you're within three inches of it. Mm -hmm. so they have to shoot through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's the literally thing is, shoot through. There are rules for terrain now, so you just, you just have to read the rules for the yeah. terrain piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I, I know, I know that, but everyone's playing it. People are playing it differently, though. Like, even though there's yeah. rules, people are playing it all differently. They have different number of terrain on the board. They don't, I mean, not everyone has 13 pieces. I've never heard 13 before, right? So I know that the ETC team has a packet now for ETC. Um, I'm just curious what you guys are used to playing. 13, I think, is a lot. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't play with 13, for sure. And we have big pieces of terrain, though. So that might be a little bit of a difference. Um, yeah, well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. You can't have 13 huge pieces of ruins because then <laughs> just you can't move or or lock them together. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't even pull on the board. Yeah, exactly. vehicles on the board. <laughs> exactly. You need to mix it up. And I also think it's important that people actually use the different kind of terrain pieces, features that there are rules for because oh. there is some really, you know, tactical things with the, where you, for example, if I put my space marines behind this, I'll get an extra save in close combat. Stuff that could really mean so shit. Crazy. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I think I think we need to figure that out and uh, like have like a standard like I, I agree with the idea of let's let's have as much of the rules as possible so we have as much of the tactics on the table as possible. We also need to keep into consideration like what what type of terrain goes on top of objectives or near like very close to objectives. Because yeah. the game me and Brad yeah. played, the two middle objectives, he put uh, Marines on them and I couldn't I basically couldn't shoot them. I had to get like right in front of them to shoot them, um, and that was a big yeah. problem for me. Yeah. Because I hide, because I play my Marines like Eldar, but with better sense. I sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was just hiding his Marines in these like ruins, and um, you know it was really tough to uh, to get in there and get him out of there because he just literally put units inside, and he's like, well, they're in there, and if you deep strike anywhere near, he's got to be twelve away. So it's just it became very difficult to to shoot him off. I think I did put two units of infiltrators out there and just hid them the entire game and went, um, they're sitting here. Get away from me. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I think our terrain placement there kind of wasn't super good for for me at least. I don't know. For you, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it was great. You 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 placed all the terrain too. Um, but uh, it's but yeah. your your original board had no terrain anywhere in the middle. It was amazing. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> he literally had no. And he also took there was the terrain that we played with the gate one. Alan's like, uh, why don't we make it super open in the middle? And he took two of the ruins and just set them off the board. I was like, yeah, I don't really know if I like your shooting gallery board. He's like, but I've got a lot of shooting. I'm like, 
yeah, why don't we not do that? And then I was like, whatever, just hit the board however you want. Because I know I'm going to lose anyways because you're playing Marines because you're a cheater. And uh, I'll just I'll just I mean, play play the game. I, well, I mean, I'm not arguing this at all. I refute none of this. Uh, <laughs> I accept it. So so I think I, I think, Daniel, what I'd like to do for our next podcast, then, is if we can all come prepared with like an example of a board that we think is a, like a like a good a good yeah. board or a good good way to place terrain. Maybe we like put oh. them up and we have like we have like whoever comes on the podcast can vote. We can all vote on, on our own because we all hate each other and we are going to vote on our own no matter what. <laughs> um, and then we can have like some tiebreakers come in and like weigh in on what they think is good. Nobody cheat, though. I don't want to see any submissions from the ETC packet at all. They all have to be your own submissions and you have to i'm, I'm literally using my excellent artistic skills and we're gonna do to it draw a, a, a little stick figures all over for my terrain board but me and daniel is playing later this week so we can take a picture of the board we're playing with okay i rolled a dice and we're gonna we're we're, we're doing it for uh mission five of the rule book so so what mission five 22 is what he meant to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mission five out of nine. So you rolled a D9. It's such so an interesting dice. I actually did. I have a D9. I have D9s and 12s. I have a D7. I have a D22. I don't know why I have a D22. That one's weird. I use them as wound counters mainly. So. Um, Not 22. That's a bad mission with only four markers, four objectives. God damn it. I'll, I'll roll again. Got one right here. Ugh, I'm get, sorry. I only have a D8 right now, so we're just not playing that one. I literally rolled the same thing. 13. 13. That's so 13. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good time. I expect, I expect a, a board of terrain for that. And then we'll weigh yeah. in. We'll weigh in next week and evaluate. Things are planned this week, so we'll. I'll, I'll take a picture. We'll set a board up exactly for that. We'll play that mission too. Oh, I, I'm so excited for you to go by Snigs and like tell him everything that you want to do, and then him just look at you like we can't do any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got a chance too, Corey. Uh, Corey's got different terrain at his house too. I like it. Nice, nice. Um, and since uh, he decided to uh, get his store closed down. Uh, by infecting someone at the store. Zico so he now has some time off. Zico so. uh, Brad, stay away from Corey, please, because you're planning to come back here. So no COVID for you. No COVID. Well, I've had five tests so far, and they've all come back negative. So Stay away from, pe stay away from people on the train, too, by the way. Was the train packed on the way home? I assumed it was, like, dead. No, it was, like, both times it was less than 50% pull. I, I recommend the train. It was so nice. Yeah, see, guys, come on, Swedish. Get on the train. Get your ass over here. Jeez. Yeah. Wow. Very disappointing, you guys. I'm on my way. I'm <laughs> I just started digging the tunnel in my backyard. Nice. <laughs> you like find my estimates next week. If I know anything yeah. about if I know anything about Daniel's labor policies, he's never making it here. <laughs> he, so he, he we can it. probably he's... travel by train if we go east. Through Russia, yeah, that's true. Alaska, yeah. I think Canada, you can actually. I think Chicago. there might be a Russia to Alaska train. I'm not sure if there is. I doubt it. I, I'm, yeah. I'm going to research that right after this meeting. Um, <laughs> you guys are like, no problem. We took the train, and it took 400 hours. Action, action. Is it okay if I just take the flight instead? Is that okay? <laughs> no, 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 no. Nope, it has to be a train <laughs> now. No, bro. I want you to do a train, and then I want you to write an article about it for the gentleman gaming. Eight, uh, eight hour flight or 400 hour train ride. <laughs> And I think we're back to the, the excellent sci-fi movie called The Core. <laughs> the core. Yeah. He invented the Snowpiercer through Speak, Russia. Speaking of yeah. movies, <laughs> did you guys watch, did, did anyone watch uh, Tenant yet? I got to watch Tenant. No. Uh, yeah, we're going, I'm, gonna, I'm going to the cinema to watch it. I'm going to download it legally somehow so I don't have to go near people who are alive because they might have disease. Yeah. So. Then I get to see disease. I'll figure that out. I watched Mulan, new Mulan. Uh, Brad didn't like yeah. it. I thought it was pretty good. I, I, I was I was pretty happy with it. Uh, don't ask. I'm older older than twelve. I didn't watch it. But. No, it's the new ones. Like Ooh. literally a uh, <laughs> so live, so so live action, like karate movie, basically. Yeah, dude, it's a live, okay. live action, live action. However, movie. Brittany was not happy with the fact that they weren't singing Disney songs and dude, dude, basically said yelled that. at said they every time. Gonna, they said they were not going to do the songs. <laughs> So that's that's just a fact, but I did like what they did with the hawk. They made the hawk from the cartoon an actual like witch that can transform into a hawk. That was cool. 
or a falcon? Was it a falcon or a hawk? I don't know. Something like that. It's a phoenix. No, the phoenix is her. The bird. phoenix was the phoenix. Sorry, the hawk was the hawk. Yeah. Was it a hawk? Yeah, I don't know fox. if it was a hawk or a falcon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, get your birds right, Brad. Jesus, Sorry. what's wrong with you, bro? All right, well, thanks, guys, for joining in. Uh, I think that's it for this week, and we will catch you guys next week. See ya. Thank you.